My ancestry from my grandfather is Inupiaq, which is an Eskimo group, and they originate from an island called Big Dineed Island out in the Bering Sea. My grandmother is Yupik, another Eskimo group. So I am both Inupiaq and Yupik through my grandparents. And I said in the Yupik language, I thank each one of you for having come here today to share all your cultures, to share your generosity, to share your hospitality. And the coat I am wearing is what the older ladies wear, and I saw my grandmother-in-law make one of these, sewing it by hand with all the furs for a little over one year. And although I know how to sew, I have made a parka instructing some of our girls during our summer jobs. And the first three months, we repaired and patched all the muskrat skins. And then the second summer, it took us three months to hand sew the parka. And the boots I'm wearing are called mukluks. On the bottom are the soles that comes from the seal skin. And originally the white part was from the uh, caribou or reindeer. And the top beaded part comes from my aunt, Helen Pushrup, from the King Island Inupiaq group. And they also originate from an island which is not inhabited anymore because they all moved to the mainland because the teachers that were assigned to be out there in the middle of the Bering Sea didn't persevere. Barbara, because that was her mother's name. 
and her mother and I went through many years together in a boarding school that was run by Catholic priests and Ursuline nuns. And the other lady that is with us, she stepped out for a while. Her name is, oh, there you are, you moved. <laughs> I saw the teacher behind you. And she comes from the southwest part of Alaska. Miss Pettigrew. <laughs> this parka is a way of exclaiming appreciation to the hunters and our providers because it has many furs. Up here is wolf, right here is wolverine. The main body of the coat is the belly part of the muskrat, and this golden brown part on the cuffs is beaver, and the bottom part is also beaver and wolverine. The tassels are wolverine, so the more furs that are on the coat, the more we're acknowledging the hunter and providers in our families. So it's a fact, if when a family has many, many fur coats, and they're very fancy and have a lot of decorations, that is a way of the wife and the women to declare that their provider is a very, very excellent and skilled hunter. We do have native dances that tell stories, and we have masks. And in my village of Stevens and St. Michael, there is called a first dance, where a person is initiated in dancing, and they have to bring many, many gifts that are given to all the guests. And after that, that person is considered a member of the dance group of that village. And I was fortunate enough to be initiated by my grandmother. Her Yupik name is Masin God. And she guided me through the process of becoming a first dancer. We also wear headdresses. The headdress on the top is wolf, and sometimes has beaver and sea otter. And the purpose of this is to acknowledge our Creator with our prayers that go upwards and reach our Creator in appreciation for all our natural resources and animals and birds and sea mammals and berries and greens that have provided sustenance for our people for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And so we have a ceremony called the Seal Bladder Festival. It is believed that the spirit of the seal inhabits the bladder. So when the men catch seals, they place their bladders in their sitting place in the men's house. In the men's house, they work on all the equipment from a kayak to a harpoon to traps and snares to be always ready for the seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. So when the dance festival for the seal spirit appreciation is done, the men take the bladders and go down to the ice where there is openings that have been made 
and the spirit of the seal is released by popping the bladders and releasing the spirit of the seal back into the Bering Sea. And we say to the spirit of the seal, thank you, O spirit of the seal, for having provided us with your fur for our clothing, the blubber for the oil, the meat for our food, and the bones for the tools. Thank you very much.